Now, what are we doing here with the test besides state of charge? Obviously, we talked about putting that signal in there and seeing what we get back, that conductance test, but what does all that mumbo jumbo mean? This is the easiest way to describe state of health. The state of health of a 12 volt battery designed to do a certain job is measured in the cold crank amp specifications. Equate that to state of charge, which could be just a raw voltage number. So let's just say in this picture here, I have a Delphi 12 volt battery that at state of charge is 100%, let's say it's 12.85, and I have two six volt lantern batteries, brand new batteries off the shelf, and they're really six volts, but actually open circuit measurement, maybe they're both seven volts. So two together in series is 14 volts. So if I were to hook a wire, positive and negative and so forth, and have these two batteries in series, I would have more voltage of those two lantern batteries than I would with this battery. But think about it, which of those two scenarios would start a big engine better? This battery or a couple of completely brand new off the shelf, six volt lantern batteries in the series? Obviously, you know the answer to the question, it's the battery with the high cold cranking amp standards. That's the state of health. You can have 650 cold cranking amps as a spec and 12.85 volts, but have a low state of health, which will come back to us with this type of tester in the form of the CCA, actual measured. So the CCA we measure is state of health. State of charge is what we see with this or this, just raw voltage. You need to have both up to specifications before that battery can either be condemned or be given a clean bill of health and left in the customer's vehicle.